Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're continuing a series I started a long time ago where I'm making a creator club team for every single league in the game. Today we've got another six leagues from around the world. We've got Asian leagues, we've got a North American league and we've got a couple of European ones too. If you're interested in a specific league, check the description and you'll find out which video each league is either been in already or will be in in the future. And I'll try and get every single league done by the end of February 2022. Anyway, let's get started started with the first league. The first league in this video is going to be in Asia. In fact, it's going to be in Japan. For the Japanese first division or the J League, I recommend you create a team called Honda FC. Now Honda FC are known as the J League gatekeeper. Any team that plays higher than the fourth division has to give up corporate ownership, which means that a company owns the football team. I'm sure you can guess that the Honda car company and motorcycles and engineering company own this football team and they refuse to give up ownership. So because of this, they refuse to get promoted and they have actually won the fourth division four times since 2014. They've never finished outside of the top four since the Japanese Football League was restricted in 2014. And Honda have even reached as far as the quarterfinals in the Japanese Cup, beating several first division teams from all around Japan. They did actually play in the top flight from 19. 1981 till 1992, but because of this restriction of ownership, they refused to go back there. And that's why I think they'd be a pretty fun team for you to recreate. Even though they are in the fourth division, I do think they do have the potential to be competing at the top flight very, very quickly. And that's why you should recreate Honda FC on FIFA 22 Create a Club. We're now going to be heading back to Europe and in fact going to Romania in Eastern Europe, where we're going to be trying to recreate FC Venus Bucharesti. The club is currently playing in the fifth division. Of course, only the top flight of Romanian football is on FIFA, but this is a team that was very, very successful. Before the football club was dissolved by the communist authorities, Venus was actually the most successful football club in Romania, winning seven top flight championships. It never actually managed to win the Romanian Cup, having been beaten by local rivals Rapid Bucresti in 1940s final, and they also lost to Rapid Bucresti in the semi-finals in 37, 38, 39, 41 and 42. Eventually, the communists decided that every single football team needed to be partnered with a union. Venus Bucharesti decided to pair up with the Sewers Union, so this was people who worked in the sewers underneath Bucharest. They remained partners with the sewerage administration for a single season before they were dissolved by the government. However, in 2014, the team was actually re-established and competed in the fourth division and finished their first season in seventh place. Playing at a ground with just an 100 seat capacity, it's going to be a challenge for you to get Venus Bucresti back to being champions, but I think it would be a super fun challenge on FIFA 22. Heading over to North or Central America, we're now looking at the Mexican League where I think you should recreate athletic club Zacatepec. Their greatest achievements were in the 1950s, where Zacatepec won two titles in the first division. They got the first one in the 1954-55 season and then the second one a couple of years later in 57-58. Zapotec also won the Copa Mexico Championship in the 58-59 season, but they were dissolved recently in June 2020 during the pandemic. They're from the second smallest state in Mexico, and the state is known for its agriculture and growing sugarcane. It's where the colours of the kit come from. Green is from the plant, the stem is green, and white is from the sugar that you can find inside the sugarcane. The challenge is to try and win a couple more titles with this tiny team. Of course, you're going to be outclassed for the first couple of seasons, but can you get back to the top as fast as Zakapatek really did in real life? The next couple of teams on this list are from Scandinavia. First of all, we're looking at the Elsvenskan in Sweden. So IF Bromma Pekiana have a massive youth focus. If you've been watching this channel for a while, you'll probably know that I have mentioned them one or two times on the videos before. And they are actually the biggest football team in Europe based off active players because they have so many youth players in their teams. They actually have around 250 teams of all different age groups, with over 3,000 players being registered with Brom Pekiana. They have a youth academy that's produced some of the best players in Sweden, however quite a lot of their youth players are poached at a young age because of the reputation that they have for being really really good at coaching young players. 
If any team on a FIFA career mode could ever be a realistic youth only save, it would definitely be Bromma Pukiana. They play in red and black stripes in their home kit and an all white away kit, but the challenge really is, as I said, to do a youth only save, get as many young players in your first team through your youth academy and into your first team, and then hopefully try and win the league and get into Europe. Moving from Sweden to the very, very close Denmark, we've got Nexo Bull Club Bolnholm. So they're from a tiny island in the Baltic Sea. They've only reached the third division in real life and they currently play in the fourth division. In 2013, they peaked in the third division, finishing eighth place. The whole island of Bornholm has a population of less than 40,000 people. That's smaller than almost every single town, city or village that's on FIFA 22. The island has been owned in the past by Sweden, Germany, the Soviets and of course Denmark who currently own it now. It's even been sold to the Hanseatic League when that was still a thing in the late 1600s. However, I think you should really be scouting players from the nations that have owned this small island. They play in a kit that's very similar to Sweden, with yellow shirt, blue shorts and yellow socks in their home kit, and then an all blue away kit. If you try and get as many youth players from the nations that have owned this island, I think you will have a fun save trying to rebuild a Danish league team to try and make them win the league and outclass Copenhagen, who of course are much, much bigger place. Finally, we're going down under over to Australia. In real life, the A-League is actually planning an expansion, and there have been rumours that teams from Auckland in New Zealand, a team from the island of Tasmania, and a team from the capital city of Canberra are interested in rejoining the league. However, another team that's been heavily linked with joining the A-League is Wollongong Wolves. So they play in an all-red home kit and an all-white away kit. They have actually tried to join the A-League before in 2005. They didn't actually succeed and ended up playing in one of the regional leagues that currently exist under the A-League in Australia. Their current manager is Luke Wilkshire. So he was actually born in Wollongong, came through the youth team at Wollongong before joining Middlesbrough and finished his career at Wollongong before now managing Wollongong. You might remember him from playing in the 2006 or 2010 World Cups, as well as the 2007 and 2011 AFC Asian Cups. So you do have a hometown hero currently managing the team and they have been successful recently. They've been regularly making the later stages of the FFA Cup, which is sort of like the FA Cup in England, where every single team from Australia can enter, even the teams from the A-League who are much better funded with better players. Wollongong have actually been beating these teams on a regular basis. The team would be based very close to Sydney, so you, of course you'd have the Sydney teams and also the Newcastle Jets for very close rivalries. So you do have the option of trying to beat these teams early on and hopefully becoming one of the best teams in Australia and therefore Oceania. So that's all six of the ideas that I came up for in this video. We've got Denmark, Australia, Sweden, Mexico, Romania and Japan. So a very varied bunch and no standout superstar leagues today. But make sure to check out the playlist where I've put all of my Create Club ideas in one place. Make sure you subscribe because I still have the Bundesliga, Second Bundesliga, Championship in England, League 2 in England, Korean League, the, both the French divisions, the Saudi Arabian League, Argentina, Switzerland and the Turkish League still to come. So subscribe if you're interested in any of those. Every other league has either been in this video or in the previous two videos in this series. So check them out if you are interested in any of that. Thank you all for watching, subscribe if you like the video, like the video if you like the video, and I'll see you very soon for another one on the Geography channel. Thank you and goodbye.